Hey everybody, welcome back. I have a flip through video today for you of Creative Haven's Celebrate Day of the Dead coloring book. And the illustrators on this book are David Edgerly and Chris Edgerly, the Edgy Brothers. This is the back. Lift your spirits with these dazzling designs. Um, I believe there's 31, yeah. These 31 uh, elaborately detailed illustrations include iconic sugar skulls as well as dozens of whimsical skeletons, which are important symbols of the festive event. So, um, yeah, so we'll just get started. This one is a new release from Creative Haven. I think it just released on the 12th of um, September. Or no, we're not in September yet. <laughs> August. So there is your colored illustration that they have. I like how there's a, a nice picture here that you can color also. And the um, pages are perforated as usual with the Creative Haven books. <clears throat> um, it's got a little bit of information about the uh, Day of the Dead celebration and um, a thanks to uh, on a dedication page, copyright 2020. I like this book. It's a little bit different than what I expected, but in a way, I think I, I am glad it's a little bit different because it's not just Sugar Skulls. So much Day of the Dead stuff we see is all Sugar Skulls, and yet there's so much more to Day of the Dead than just Sugar Skulls. So it's kind of neat that these are, they have all these different illustrations in them. The backgrounds are kind of, um, busy but you could always paint that over or just color it over whatever you wanted to do you don't have to color in all the little spaces i'm going to see if the top of that i want to try to get the most of the page in that i can make sure i didn't skip one here i actually put some hand cream on before i did this because i didn't uh want my hands to stick or like you know the pages are usually my hands are too dry and I can't turn the pages so this one's interesting now the backgrounds are the same on every page so um, they don't vary and I think that's kind of neat because like if you want to color them one time you can if you don't want to color them another time you don't have to I like the farmer Actually, I have to say that I think this one is kind of my favorite. I love the Gunslinger. I, I even showed it to Keith, and he goes, oh, that's really cool. So I was thinking of next time I place an order, picking up a second one for him, because there were several of the illustrations in this book that he liked. Of course, I could always just make copies um, for him and I, too. Um, but, yeah, I, I really like this, of the uh, Skeleton Gunslinger. This one reminds me of, um, like, the Knights in the Indiana Jones movie, what, The Last Crusade, the one with Sean Connery. They're just different, you know, and that's, in a way, I really like this one, too. It's quite elaborate. They're just different, and that's what I like about it, because we ha I have so many, like I said, Day of the Dead books that are just like repeats of Sugar Skull after Sugar Skull, and this is kind of, you know, it's just different, something different. She's fun, too. This is my favorite page. <laughs> this one in the Gunslinger uh, skeleton. But I absolutely love this page so much. I can picture it in my head, colored all these different ways. I just think it's so fun, and it's going to be beautiful when it's colored. Um, it's gorgeous. I love it. two pages there. So there we do have a few sugar skulls for those who are wanting some. We've got all the members of the mariachi band.
this military guy? Or is he a, um, I don't know. At first, maybe he's a bolero, but then he's got, like, the sword. I don't really know. Maybe someone can tell me what that is. Here's an artist. Now I have another one, another book that shows art supplies. <laughs> if I ever have to do another scavenger hunt coloring tag. I wonder what's holding his shorts up, right? <laughs> That's pretty. I like how the backgrounds are all the same. I, you know, I um, somebody left a comment in the haul video where I showed this that some people were complaining about the fact that all the backgrounds are the same. But... I don't know, I think it kind of takes the pressure off, you know? Sometimes we have a hard enough time coloring the image itself, um, worrying about colors and shading and highlighting and this and that, and then you throw in a background too and it can become overwhelming. So I kind of like how they're all the same because you can, like I said, you could just paint that out or take a marker, like a black Sharpie, and mark it out and then just do the flowers around the edges. That would be really pretty too. And that is the end. So that is Celebrate the Day of the Dead coloring book by the Edgerly Bro Edgy Brothers, sorry, Edgy Brothers uh, from Creative Haven in Dover. And I will leave a link where you can purchase this coloring book um, in the description section below. And um, check it out if you want to. Comment or question below, and I will see you guys in the next one.